For probably a few months now, I've been getting many questions about the Hamlin method. And the reason is, I am a big follower of the Tracy Anderson method. I make quite a few videos on the Tracy Anderson method. I'm a big supporter of the Tracy Anderson method. And a lot of people that have been in the same boat as me, big followers of the Tracy Anderson method, love the Tracy Anderson method, yada, yada, yada. They've decided to switch gears and do this other method. But why? Why would you want to change something that's worked so well for you? Well, I think one of those answers is that the, my, the new My Mode program and the cost of it and the priority of it has turned some people off and has had them searching for other things. In addition to that, I think the lawsuit against this Sculpt Society founder has also kind of turned people off, which is somewhat surprising to me because I thought you know people that were such big Tracy Anderson supporters would support whatever she does. But it seems in general, there's been this kind of shift and I had never really thought to try anything else out because I am such a devout follower until today, quite honestly. I was made aware of this Instagram post from a longtime Tracy Anderson follower and Tracy Anderson's response to it. And the post itself was just about just missing the old streaming services that there were. And Tracy responded and I can't say outright mean that Tracy was, but the way she responded was, I gotta say disappointing. Tracy called out that she wasn't getting credit. She wasn't being tagged in the post with her hashtag. She called out that, you know, she's been doing this method for so long and she would like more appreciation. And she, the tone of it in general, it was in really poor taste. And it just gave me the impression that maybe Tracy's under a lot of pressure right now. Things are bothering her. I, 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 I can see that Tracy's life work has been put into this and that she can be very sensitive to it. But you're talking to a customer. You're commenting on a customer's post. It's kind of like if somebody had an account dedicated to Lululemon and they made a post about how, hey, this week with this new Lululemon outfit, I, you know, I kind of miss the old fabric of Lululemon and I'm getting through it, but, you know, I did prefer it the way it was. And then for Lululemon to come out and be like, you see what I'm getting at here. Tracy Anderson's a brand and there's a lot of responsibility when you're a brand and there should probably be some checkpoints <laughs> for <laughs> what your responses are and everything because... This post was seen by a lot of Tracy Anderson followers, and I just wonder the effect that it has on everyone. The effect it's had on me is being more open to try something different. If you could see the blinds behind me, you'd see that she's broken a few. I get it's It's got to be a lot of pressure to be somebody like Tracy and to get so much feedback at all times. But what was so disappointing about this instance, maybe this is just a one-off thing, but this is somebody who's been a walking, talking ambassador of the Tracy Anderson method. There's no question what her account is dedicated to. And then to give her a hard time for not including the appropriate hashtags and including the hashtags in her profile is it's, it's ridiculous, to be honest with you. And it's a weird timing of this because I find myself thinking that where I'm at with my workouts, it's been good, but I have, I have room to step it up and I wanna step it up. I'm sure I could step it up with more dance cardio, but I know when I do that, I end up having trouble with food and like overeating and that's not good either. And it's been about two years now that I've been doing the Tracy Anderson method. Maybe it's time for me to just try something like the Hamlin method out for a little bit. You know, I'll make videos on it. Um, you know, I'll let you know if I will be going back, especially since I invested basically the cost of a Gucci pair of loafers to this. You know, I bought it so I can go back to it, given it's not pulled down from the site out of, I don't know, but um, I don't think it'll hurt for me to try something else. <laughs> and for all I know, in the next hour, I'll change my mind and be like, no, I'm just going to stick with the continuity. But anyways, just kind of wanted to do this kind of fireside chat and share with you what's been on my mind. 
it's one of my biggest values is being sincere and being real and being helpful. And I would not be doing that if I were to share that I'm gonna try something else out without telling you why. So, I think Luna agrees. Anyways, as with every video, thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you next time.